Look at that ass. Honestly, that must be Tom Holland under this. Ooh. Well, as you have guessed, we are going to use this Spidey boy as our main character for movie we are working on. So it's not perfect, but it will be just um, wonderful for us. Well, you need to download model and do all the important stuff which you already know how to do. Well, then once your model will be downloaded, we will switch to Mixamo, which is site made by Adobe. Well. Originally it wasn't by Adobe, but that's nothing to worry about. And here you will have to log in if you have Adobe ID account or you will have to sign up for free. Uh, once you will finish, you will be asked to upload a character, which is exactly what we are going to do. And I have it right there, Audrey Spider-Man. And there is something I need to warn you. This site is very buggy, <laughs> really very buggy. Honestly, Adobe really doesn't give a shit about this and I was lucky, it worked for the first time, but sometimes you just have to upload it again and again, once it will work, trust me. So let's click next, and now you need to position these points. Luckily we can use symmetry, and on the right you can see how it should be. And now once you have it, you click next. Pretty simple, right? Then you let the uh, auto record do what it can, and most of the time you will have a pretty decent results. All right, our character is prepared and then look at that. And like again, look at that ass. Oh, she. Anyway, uh, let's not get sidetracked and click next. Well, now we need to figure out what we want our character to do. So firstly, as in any proper movie, we will start with some dance. So click on search bar and category select as dancing. I would say samba sounds good. What do you think? Yep, that looks perfect. Oh yeah. All right then, let's download it. And we can use FBX, it shouldn't be a problem. I heard that the uh, DAE works better, but honestly, I have never had uh, too much of problems with FBX. So set it to skin, so set it everything like as it should. You can, of course, edit energy, posture, overdrive on all this stuff. Uh, as you will mo be moving these slides, you will see how it is affecting body. So there is nothing that needed to be this. Uh... Right. Let's switch off dance and find some of the jumping music. So let's find some jump animation. Jumping, we have at least three over here. Yeah, there's some jumping off with gun, but that looks pretty unrealistic because Spider-Man doesn't use guns. Let's find something more dynamic. Yeah, what about that? We, we, I want him to jump out of the building, so this wouldn't necessarily work, but we can make it work. So, because we will let him jump on this, on some part of the building, and then move the character, character quickly down. So, that's about it, and click download. You can download as many animations as you want, everything is free, and you can, you can use it even for commercial projects. So, let's download it. And now you can open the environment which you have created in the previous part of this series and let's import our characters. So click import FBX and find where you have downloaded it. So to make it easier, click on your file and import it. It's uh, somewhere on the screen and you can see it in this tape. And uh, the problem is that it is very small, so you will scale it up with clicking S and dragging it up as much as you can. It will eventually show up. Yeah, here we are. So let's ignore this pink thing and move our dear Spidey boy somewhere where we will be able to find it. Alright, let's get it. We can move all that in new collection to, to have it look like we are working professionally. So let's call it character and move it in there. All 
So let's get it down to have the right proportions. That should work. And now we need to import the other animation. We will do it simply by clicking import FBX and click on our Samba dancing. But just a quick, you will just quickly import it. And this may seem kind of counterintuitive, but trust me, once it will import, you will delete it. Because what it does in that, uh, what it does like this, it imports and it saves only animations and the, all the meshes and characters will be deleted. So now if we go here, click on this left clocks and set it to dope sheet and action editor. Make sure that your armature is clicked on. You should have here a few animations. I have a bit more than you, you should have two of them. So first one is probably the Samba, yep. So let's call it Samba Dancing. Oh no, what happened? We are not going to create another. So Samba. And the other one, which was the jumping, wasn't it? Yeah. And I have some uh, problem. What is that? The mirroring effect. Oh, we'll figure it out later. Let's call it just jump. Let's test if everything works. Seems like it does. So Samba. Samba works even better. So now we need to apply materials on our character, which I will just uh, do quickly with time lapse, but you can play with it and edit it as much as you want. It has two material slots, so have some fun. Just make sure then when you are applying a normal map before you apply it here in normal you will create bump map because bump map it works better with EV than norm uh, than normal map you can create bump map and normal map for this just make sure that you don't connect it into emissions like me let's not talk about it ever again thank you <laughs> so that should be about it. Our Spider-Man is prepared, so let's blend those animations together. But firstly, we need to make sure that our animations fit the screen. S not a screen, but a scene. So we can see that he runs and then jump out of something. So his legs must be about here. Just to make sure that it is touching that, that. Yep, that's nice. That's nice. Oh. We can move the building bit up. So it fits our Spider-Man. See, if you cannot move character, move something else. <laughs> that's real for life. Great. How does it look with our Samba animation? Yeah, he can dance around, don't cross too many things. Well, as you see, this may be a problem, but we will probably switch it before it will. Let's fix this. You don't need to worry about that, that's more of a my problem than yours. So we need to merge it all together, uh, not merge, but uh, blend it all together. So let's click on stage with both of these animations and set it to nonlinear animation where you can activate our animation layers and we want to start with samba so unlock it and see how he is nicely dancing let's say we will let him dance for about 100 frames just before he will cross with that roof with that part of roof how is it called? <laughs> 
anyway now we need to f blend it because we don't want this shock over here it would look very unnatural to eye so let's I need to did something of that because it's getting quite annoying honestly what is with the lighting oh, whatever we will click here on the right corner you have a little arrow and if you scroll down you can send blend in animation but make sure that the jump is above samba this is basic layer system so you can set it to auto, but I wouldn't recommend it, just find your own. About here, you can see curve that is happening here and show us how it is slowly blending. And let's see how it will look. He's dancing and now he slowly goes into that animation. Great! But now we have a bit of a problem because our Spider-Man is running in the air. But that would be great, but he's not Jesus, right? And it's not water. So let's do some tricky animation thingy thing. Let's click here, split area. Move this a little bit down and set this to timeline. And now, just when you wanted it, right here, right here when he started jumping. We will switch this on, auto key, click G and move it a little bit. So we have a basic frame from where it can go and send him right down. Go there, Tom. See? Which may look still weird, but it won't for us because for the camera we will in the next episode we will position camera and um, let our camera follow character and just create the whole filmic scene we will let him jump so if you look from here he's dancing and then jump off quite nicely this is just uh, I'm just uh, I'm here just to show you how you it can be done you can definitely play with it way more and make it nice and beautiful and everything because that's exactly what this s deserve oh damn oh no homo of course i forgot to say <laughs> all right that would be it. that would be about it for this tutorial uh, if you feel like it you can check out my instagram and all these things i'm doing i think pretty interesting stuff over there i'm doing dailies right now so i post quite often every day as you can guess from dailies and that's about it, I guess. Have a nice day, have a nice everything. If you create something awesome, tag me on Instagram or Facebook in the worst case. No, use Instagram, fuck Facebook. And then we can talk in next episode, which will be out next week. We will animate this wonderful cam camera and create some motion blur and all the other stuff. Well, that's about it. See ya.